Hey guys, so I just got back from the store. I'm pretty excited. I just got my new Breitling Avenger. Um, so we'll uh, go through it, uh, open it. This is the receipt that I got. And then uh, this is the actual box. It's got the Breitling uh, logo on the face, which is cool. It's in a nice big thick box, which is awesome. Uh, inside, ooh, there it is right there. Oh, look. Got another uh, yellow little box. Uh, inside this it's a whole bunch of stuff this watch has been opened once before because it actually fits my wrist where uh, I can actually get rid of my current watch because it's been fitted for me already uh, this is the uh, this is the Breitling uh, certificate that you get so that you know it's authentic boom authentic Breitling and then uh, this is the international warranty card. International warranty in Canada here is two years. Uh, so that's awesome. In the back, that's my warranty uh, number and stuff. And then uh, here's the book itself. This is an Avenger 2, uh, Breitling Avenger 2. It's from the Avenger family. It's a uh, entry-level Breitling, which uh, I wanted uh, just to see if I like it or not. And uh, this tells you everything you need to know, all the special characters, how to set the time. Because uh, it's a very specialized watch, there's a certain way a way to adjust the time and the date and stuff. Um, there's a stopwatch. Uh, it's all good. So this is a great little book, and this is all great little stuff. Uh, this all fits in here, which is awesome. And this goes in here. And then a good place. So I think I'll just keep that in there for now because that's a good place. So here's the watch itself. Uh, the Avenger 2. Uh, when I open it, doo -doo -doo, ooh, I got a nice little uh, cloth uh, to shine it up. And then in the back here, uh, let me undo that. Got a little Breitling tag. Shows you it's Breitling. And then uh, here's the watch itself. Uh, looks like it has a little piece that comes off. I don't need that. Uh, but here's the watch itself. It's shiny. Holy cow. Brand spanking new. Comes off. I got mine with the black face. Uh, I like the black face. I tried a Super Avenger and I tried the bigger ones. The bigger Breitlings are just too big for my, my small wrist because I have quite small wrists. So I didn't want a big honking thing on my uh, or a wrist, but uh, this has still got a good uh, thickness to it. Uh, and the back of it's nice. The, the, and I went with the silver strap. You could get silver or uh, leather, and I went with the silver strap because I think it's better. Uh, so let's get rid of this. This is my uh, Hugo Boss piece of crap. And here it is. Here's my Breitling. Uh, so this should fit me perfectly. Yes. Beautiful. And so it's got a uh, stopwatch button up here. This is the reset. And then this is for your time and date. And uh, I think it's great. The thickness is really nice. The band's really nice. And the weight, oh. It's beautiful. Just so you know, this is my watch. Breitling did not send this to me. I am a real guy. I am a, a, my first Breitling. This is my very first Breitling. Uh, so I'm not really a watch collector, but uh, I decided to try a Breitling first to see how I like it. And if I like it, I'll probably move on to maybe a Super Avenger or something like that. Hopefully uh, they're not too big uh, for my little wrist. So this fits on here. So there's Breitling right on there. And uh, the back is all stamped with Breitling stuff so you know that it's authentic. It's authentic and uh, it didn't fall off the back of a truck. Uh, so it's super fine. Uh, this fits on here. And now uh, apparently anywhere I go to a Breitling dealer, I could walk in and they'll shine it up for me for free. Uh, so if you want to check back with me, I'll uh, wear this for, uh, I don't know, maybe six months, a year. And uh, I'll put another review on after that time, and I'll let you know uh, what I think of it. All right? Awesome!